So Trey Wingo this morning on Golik and Wingo said something that made me think, made me confused, maybe, maybe, made me even slightly angry. I'm not sure. He ranked the Jets number five in his NFL power rankings after week one. Now, one might say that he obviously just said that to create some buzz around his stupid power rankings after week one. But you also have to imagine that Trey Wingo actually knows what he's talking about. I mean, he's been studying and at least analyzing the NFL, at least at the very least on a surface level for a long time. I mean, he's been involved with NFL Countdown or NFL Live or whatever one of those NFL shows are on ESPN for a long time. He seems to know football. He ranked the Jets number five. I thought the Jets played a really shitty Lions team. I mean, I saw the game with my own two eyes. The Lions suck. But if the Jets really are ranked number five, then it might, I mean, there might be some hope left. And this is where we are as Lions fans all the time. There might be some hope. You can always point to the third quarter or the first quarter or the way the defense played or Matt Stafford and his, his great arm or, you know, whoever, Golden Tate and his yak yards. I don't think that yak yards is a thing that sounds redundant. Yards after completion yards. Doesn't matter. You can always point to something with the Lions. And this week, I'm choosing to point to Trey Wingo's report that the Jets are the fifth best team in the NFL. So there might be some hope. I still saw the game. I still think they suck. I still think that Matt Patricia doesn't have control of that team. I mean, and in regards to the reports that the Lions players are pissed at Patricia for making them run too much during practice in the preseason, you're a professional. You're a professional. Coach tells you to run, you fucking run. You get on the bus that the coach is driving, you take that bus, even if he drives you off of a cliff. It doesn't matter. I don't care if you're getting paid more than coach. You're not the coach. That's not your job. The other part of me thinks that they could have spent that time running maybe coming up with some more creative shit to do on offense and defense. So who knows? It goes both ways. I'm a player, though. If I'm a player, listen to the coach, even if I don't agree with him. Had one of those coaches in high school. Didn't agree with very much he said at all, but I did everything he wanted me to do. And I gained his respect. Now, was that as important as gaining a basketball scholarship to a big college? No. No, it wasn't. Summarize. I still went to college to play basketball, just not for any money. It's sad to think about. Take that.